Hey everyone, Mtest here, and if you've been watching my stream lately, you've probably seen me playing Wild Hearts. This is a brand new IP where you take on these massive beasts, they've got strengths, weaknesses, they've got different items they drop, you can craft weapons, there's a lot to this game, and I wanted to make a video talking about some of my favorite things from the game, what I'm enjoying most, and why you should give it a try. Now, just to be transparent, this is a sponsored video. Thank you so much, EA, for sponsoring this video. But I'm going to show you some clips and some hype moments from my stream, and you're going to see the pure joy as I take on some of these massive beasts. This game is a lot of fun. I see a lot of potential, and I really hope that they keep going down this path because Wild Heart, it's got something special there, and, uh, and I just want to keep playing. So let's get started with some of the first things that I noticed while jumping into this world. So these giant beasts are called kimono, and they've all got different abilities, they've got different attack patterns, and for the most part, I was doing good early on. I didn't really run into anything that stomped me, and then I fought this jerk the lava back and this was one of the most fun fights i've done so far i died a bunch of different times and i want to show you some clutch moments from this fight oh that was so sick that was so sick <sighs> now, as you fight the different kimono and explore the map, you can get different materials for crafting, and this is one of the things that I love in games. Now, there are multiple different types of weapon, and they're all going to perform differently depending on what you're fighting and what you enjoy playstyle-wise. But these same weapons can also be upgraded and side-graded to cover different elements, and you can also unlock skills that will further improve your build. That lava back ape that I was fighting can allow me to craft this fire weapon, but also I can get this tiger den skill, which will boost my attack, even though ailments like poison will impact me more. You can also craft armor to make different builds, but you can also further modify it to improve certain stats or reduce others to perfect your build and unlock even some secret ones. There's an entire skill tree where you can unlock bonuses like increasing the amount of healing items you can carry and improving your Karakuri, which I haven't even shown you yet. Check this out. Not only can I build different camps around the map, build things like forges so I can craft new weapons and armor, but there's also traversal options as well. I can just set these up all over the map if I want to and zip line around, and it's pretty amazing. But that's not all. See this enemy down here? I can get the jump on it, but I can also use this other ability to glide in the air and slam and jam, baby! Engaging in a way that is probably not seen in any other game. Now, I'm a big fan of the combat, but chaining some of the different abilities together and some of the builds, this is what gets me really excited because I can chain these different things together, do these different attacks, and check this out. Now that this enemy's in the air, I can actually knock it down with this thingy and get a big opening. Watch this. Boom! He's weakened! And now I've got a huge opening to attack. So you can build different things to counter these kimono as well, and it makes the game so fun. It feels like you're really actively making decisions here. Now this enemy is fleeing from me, but because I've set up different camps, I can teleport closer, or I can use up the different traversal options to chase it down, which is honestly part of the fun. Now, you might also notice this Request Assistance button. This is amazing because co-op is seamless in this game. Other players can join in on the hunt and help me take this thing on if I'm having trouble. And there's tons of these Hunter's Gates, so you can go in and you can just choose some of these fights and link up with other players. Personally, I like a nice solo hunt because I get to do this and it just feels like I'm a big badass, you know what I'm saying? Boom, baby! Easy. Easy peasy. And if you're interested in that medieval Japan feel, there's some awesome areas in this game. Visually, I'm really enjoying the art style. The characters look really cool. And uh, so far, the story has been pretty darn good. So there's a lot of different reasons why I'm enjoying this game. The music, when you start fighting these, uh, these kimono, is pretty exciting. And, like, I'm, I'm thinking it's a win. If you're interested in playing Wild Hearts, click the link down below. Okay? Please, give it a try.
Click the link down below in the comment section or description of this video and play Wild Hearts today. Thank you so much EA for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Oh my god, I'm dead. Ah! I'm dead. The jumping, the jumping attack. Go, man. Go, man. What should you do?